New camera, who this? <laughs> so, I got something cool to look at today, but um, I also got a new camera, so if you can see more undesirability, that, that would be George from Baggers and Brews' fault. Um, the night of the video where I kind of set my truck on fire, if you haven't seen that, go check it out, um, during Daytona by Oktoberfest, I set my, my tailgate on fire. It's okay. I mean, here, you want proof? There, I mean, see, look, it's, it's still there. But the inside, not so much. It's a little, it's a little melty on the inside. But uh, George from Baggers and Brew said, wow, your camera game sucks. You know, you can't just live with a GoPro. You gotta get serious, man. Blah. He didn't actually sound like that. I'm, in my mind, I made him sound like that. But, uh, so he's like, you need this great new camera. So here it is. If I look even more crappy than George's fault. But let's get into something cool that kind of levels the playing field a little bit. So just the other day, I did that live stream with Bry the Biker and uh, Harley Fatboy Jr. and Big Smitty. And Big Smitty made a joke about like, you don't even ride on your channel. You don't do riding videos. And uh, he's right. And this is why. So I'd had a uh, painful, rather irritating phone call and thought, well, you know what? I need to do a video about this, but I need to figure out how to handle it. And so I came out here and I, I ran a damn microphone down my shirt and plug cut and big helmet and, the there, there and all that crap, the camera on the front and all that stuff and uh, tested it. Tested it in the driveway. Sound worked fine. Everything's great. Then went out. Spent about an hour or so talking this thing through, which I'm now not going to talk. I'm glad, you know, everything works out for a reason because I, I decided in hindsight that I had no business putting that stuff on film. So it saved my rear. But anyway, so what you just saw, I've got lots of that. So if you want lots of me just riding around, maybe I'll throw that up in the wintertime. I don't know. But that's the reason I don't do ride videos, because it sucks. My bike's my place of zen. It makes me happy. Um, it's my place of joy. It's my favorite possession, favorite way to spend my time, besides being with my little one. Uh, and then you add a camera and a microphone and a big helmet that I have to wear. I choose to wear sometimes, but not all the time. It just makes it not fun, and that sucks, and I don't want to do that no more. So I'm not saying I won't do ride videos ever. I promise to, as things get bad, weather-wise up north because I know that some dudes have said like man you don't know what it does for me to just sit there and watch a motorcycle ride down a road so I'll do some of that stuff more like mansions and beaches and stuff and I'll just ride along so you can see all that stuff but there are gonna be a lot of ride videos because I freaking hate it but um, not a moto vlogger uh, no offense to those who are um, but anyway so some of you know that the Mrs. Dunn stole my seat a while back and the big boss um, at Adman Black said well I'll send you a black one when I've got extras I guess means any some things are hard to get this days and the other day mr. UPS pulled up with an Avan black box and I'm like no twas so before I even show you the seat which is very exciting um, kudos to Advan black on the bags that it comes in because I'm telling you what if you wanted to smother somebody my mind's in a dark place today after that video I made earlier this said do it I mean I'm telling you it's taut not going to stretch. They can't poke the finger through their, in their mouth to get air. I mean, I'm telling you what, you want to take somebody out. The Adman Black Bag, the perfect murder weapon. Anyway, might be using that later. Um, let's look at the seat. Looky there. So there's the black one. You can see the wife, she's got the red one on hers, but not the red helmet. That's a whole other thing. The red stitch and red piping. This is the black one. So same exact seat, just black stitch and black piping. And there is some, some, still some like reflective stuff in there you can kind of see in the camera, but it's it's black, it stays black in the sun, and you see the stitch is, of course, black stitch. Got the baseball stitcher on the back. Good lower back support. When I went on that ride earlier today, I really appreciated having this. It's a, it really is a good seat. I like it a lot. Um, so yeah, we'll pop it on in a second. Real quick though, I want to talk about a couple things about it real quick. So the thing I want to BS about for a second, um, someone sent me a message the other day. 
about the seat saying, um, what is it about, how does the loaner program work? Because you know a lot of seats, you go into your dealer and they throw you one for a couple of days, you bring it back and et cetera, et cetera. And they said, uh, dealers don't seem to have inventory of them for loaning and stuff. And there's a real simple reason why. Um, the reason why I have Ann Black, this is my opinion. This is, I don't know this. I'm just saying, seems logical to me. The reason why you're not going to walk into any Billy Bob, Jim, Fred's, Harley Davidson and find one of these for you to borrow on the, on the walls because um, the dealer have to buy one if they want to sell them. They're not going to throw free seats around to dealers. Why is that? That seat's only $429. The seats that have those like inventory seats, a lot more than $429. <laughs> so if you're selling something for $250 more than this, then there's money to throw around to dealers and throw free ones around and all that kind of stuff. But uh, this is not the case. This seat is a really, really good deal. Now, that being said, it is not a cheap seat. It is not low quality. I, I like the covering a lot. It's really well made. The gel, I can tell you right now, it weighs at least 50% more than a stock seat. So you can tell there's a lot of high density foam and, and gel padding in it. So it's nothing like a stock seat. It is not an inexpensive seat. It's just price isn't high enough for you to throw around a bunch of them to dealers for everyone to just try if they want to. But um, that being said, love the new camera, but I hadn't charged the battery and the battery done died. <laughs> so it's charging. We had to switch back to the GoPro. This is going to be creative cutting this thing together. Anyway. Um, so I put the seat on while I was figuring out my camera situation. There she be. And look, my bike's in the sun, not in the garage. Ooh. Shocking, I tell you. So there's the seat. And I got the matching, the matching uh, pad. Anybody want a Grafeo pipe? So a couple things to point out. Um, you can see it's got good back support. I feel like it's probably a little wider than the stock one. I'm not sure. Seat height's got to be lower. It's a little bit higher than my CBO seat. I settled this when the red one came. At reiteration, whatever. Um, so you can see that I feel like the pan is stock, but it's just lower because of the gel pad in there. I don't know. It, it doesn't feel as high, which is a good thing for me. I actually really like that. Um, you can see here. You've got a nice spot for your tailbone, right? Which is important as you become an old man. And then you still have the pocket for a rider backrest. So if you can use Harley Davidson's rider backrest. So the bracket, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Because I even got the bracket over here. I don't use it, but uh, where the hell is that thing? Buried, I tell you, buried. No, right there. If you've got that bracket under your seat, you can still use the rider backrest. Uh, the one that pinches together, spring in the middle, sticks down in there, ping, pops open. You know what I'm talking about. You can use that rider backrest from Harley with this seat. Uh, i got to find mine because I'll use that for that trip. But anyway, I really appreciate this because, again, in early December, it's about 600 miles each way. got to run up to Fort Myers with Olaf that you all know for some business. Um, and that seat's going to come in handy because I did not want to do it on that CVO seat. <laughs> <laughs> like it's that CVO seat's good for about four hours. This is a like probably six, seven, eight. I have an Airhawk pad. You know, don't hurt nothing to bring. Don't eat nothing, as my grandfather used to say. Uh, I might use the Airhawk pad for super long distance. Throw it in the tour pack and then put it on there when my my bidding starts to hurt. I was born with no ass. Personal information. Um, so it's an issue. You know, on super long distance, I'm riding on my tailbone the whole way. So um, anyway, thanks a bunch. Uh, after my remark about killing people with a plastic bag, this is probably the last Advan Black video I'll have. <laughs> but I really appreciate it, and uh, we'll talk real soon. Take care of each other out there. Bye.